What is going on, everybody? We're going to airbrush some orange. Uh, I was going to use transparent orange from Pro Acryl, but on the paper over here, it looks more red to me. Too red, not what I want. So we're going to go ahead and try Fugan Orange from Citadel. And hopefully this comes out okay. This is also... Hmm, that looks kind of brown, but... You know, this is also going to be a experiment for the channel. So, and we're testing out the new airbrush. So we want to make sure we try some various things. You know, I'm going to put a little water in there too. All right, so we're going to just stir this up for a second. And hopefully a thin layer of this is going to give us a nice orange. So this is a wash, so it should go on nice and smooth. And we'll start from the bottom. Just in case it's too dark, we'll at least provide a shadow. So let me go ahead and turn this on. And I'll turn it up one notch higher so you can hear how loud it is. Not very loud. So cool. All right, let's start with this, uh, this guy here. And Well, here, let's see. Oh, gotta mix it up a little bit. There we go. See that? So yeah, think of it kind of like a watercolor. And we're just gonna spray under. Give this guy an orange coat. Any part we wanna spray extra, we can. This is just the beginning. We'll add all kinds of cool details. I was definitely hoping for almost like a cartoon orange, which maybe we'll get when this dries, but... If not, no big deal. I kind of like how it's separating a little bit because I thinned it down so much. So we're getting a little bit of that uh, sort of wash effect. And we'll make sure we darken the shadows and panels and whatnot on these guys. So yeah, that looks okay. All right, so yeah, now we're gonna do the bottom half black or dark, dark blue. And that will give us a cool base for our tiger stripe camo. Let's go ahead and do one more. Let's try a fast one, just so you can see the sort of the speed of an airbrush. I think I'm actually mostly focusing on the airbrush with the foam here. I'm just using the camera foam. But yeah, look. So we pretty much got him covered. I don't want the pool too crazy, but definitely getting a little bit more of the pooling effect on this guy because we're spraying it a little heavier. And you know what? It's not so bad. It's kind of cool. So there you go. There's two little orangey boys. I'm going to finish up the rest, and hopefully we'll be getting some Tiger Stripe boys out on the table while I learn to play... Battletech Alpha Strike. So hopefully you are interested in some Battletech Alpha Strike painting because that's what I'm going to be working on here for a bit. And, you know, always other things. Make sure you subscribe. You don't want to miss the airbrush on the Kickstarter in February. And I will see you in the next one.